Hi everyone. So today what I got for you is a little mail call. It's been a while since I've done one. I haven't been buying many things recently. I've been creating games and selling things. But I bought a few items and got a few items. I got one item given to me. Well, I purchased it. First one right here is from Jeff Worley and he still sells these. This is, eh, what's the best way to open this thing up here? Let's, let's get all gung-ho and slice my finger open doing it. This right here is I'm going to try this another time. Last video I did of it wasn't too good. This right here is because I had issues with it. It is still working on it. That's a Fujinet from Jeff Worley and he's got a sticker or a card in the bottom here. Go ahead and read down the bottom there. Jeff made it. He asked me what color I want. I said I like that green one, so he made that for me. So that's a Fuji Net. I'm going to try to give that a shot in an upcoming video. I'll test it out again. I got some ideas for it and the cord for it. If you don't know what this is, well, just hang out on Facebook long enough and you'll find out. But basically, it's a, it's a new SD card solution for the Clico Atom that also contains Wi Fi and lets you go online and talk to other websites and stuff like that. I'm not sure about that part of it, but that's a Fuji net and I'm going to just try that next and I notice I don't have a card. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out what card to use. I hope I don't have to install any firmware. Who knows? I don't read the manual and there isn't a manual here. I'll figure out what to do with it. So that's a Fuji net. The next thing I got here in this big old box, which is so lightweight, is something that I talked to somebody about at uh, does he go by 8-bit works 8-bit widgets 8-bit widgets clip he designed a thing here let me get you here. he had designed a cradle to replace the original Adam cradle because what happens on the Adam cradle is these little tabs break off and then it won't lock on the keyboard anymore, and so it's just looser. And he designed it, and I thought that was cool, but I said, you know what? You really only need to design something to go here. So we talked about it a little bit, and then he got busy, and we're going to be empty box. And he designed this little thing. What does this little thing do? This little thing goes in here. This is the first time doing it, so I can make sure it goes in there. Basically, what it does is it just replaces the little tabs that are missing. And why would you want to do that? I'll show you. Oh God, this keyboard is so dirty. Look at look at the garbage. I'm I mean, is that cigarette smoke? I don't know, but damn. Anyway, see, you got the little notches here, and that's where this would want to go. But if with the new thing he's made, slide it there. Lock it. Oh, maybe I should do it the right way. Not put the key in. Just slide it underneath there. And get in there. Locks in place. Cool. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit. I think I might have to shave it down to make it fit better. Yeah, 8 bit widgets. He even got his logo. This is one of the first ones he did. I think he does them in different colors now. But he sent me this one as like, yeah, I gotta actually get it in there, click it in better. I might have to trim a little bit to make it fit, but that's it. That's cool. And I have one other thing here. This, I did a trade with John Lundy from Lundy Electronics because I need this. Not because I wanted it to go with a collection. I need this because there's going to be a reason behind this. Bang! As you all know, I write games, and I got some more to show you that soon. I write games, and he has come up with this. I believe it was designed, I think Eric Pearson designed it, and then John was making them. This right here is a speech synthesizer. What's it do? It plugs, it, it basically, it's designed, see it says Atom Speech Synthesizer, but if you know anything about the ClicoVision and the Atom, 
they're basically they're the same when it comes to expansion ports as long as I have yet to figure out why my serial car port doesn't work on the ColecoVision but I believe as long as they're not drawing too much power so what we have here is a speech synthesizer that plugs into the expansion port of the ColecoVision or the, into the Atom actually so why would I want this? I'm currently working on Lumberjack games which is going to be the next game after New Clock City and we're going to give Lumberjack games some a voice it's going to talk if you don't have a speech synthesizer, you won't get to hear the talking. But if you want to hear the talking, you're going to need to order one of these from John. So, yeah. Next video, I'm going to do a test run. I want to show you how it works. But that, that's pretty darn cool. The quality is nice. I like it. Very nice. Very nice. So, we got that. So, we got those three things in here. Like I said, I haven't been buying much recently. I've been more making things. We also... Now, I'm going to go over... I'm going to... So if you guys want to bug out because you don't want to see the sales pitch, you know, in our store we do have the new game that came out last week. That we, yeah, that came out last week. I, did, I showed you out of New Clock City, um, and then two new upcoming games, Log um, Lumberjack games and Crazy Chicky Escape, and there's other games too. Um, oh, let me show you something here. Uh, I'm gonna get distracted. This right here is a prototype made by Brian at, I think it's BD Mods. It's a prototype controller. What for? Hey, wait till you see. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it is BD Mods. I got his card right in here. I like how he did a little running man there. Let's just see. Yeah. BD Retro Mods. Brian did feel the day. We made this as a prototype for a controller. And why would you want this on a ColecoVision? Because you're going to need it. Because the game that it's going to use is going to need a lot of banging. And you don't want to be fighting the ColecoVision controller for that. You could try, but you're going to need that. So that, that, that's a mail call in a way, but I've had that one for a couple weeks now. So let's just show you a couple other things here. As I was saying, besides those games, we have a new game category. We call it budget packaging. What that means is that once a game is no longer available in the big box. See, when I when I um, create games here at Eight Bit Millie Games, what we do is we order a certain number of boxes. Usually it's 100 to 125. It depends. I mean, if you know anything about the printing industry, it's always plus or minus 10%. So if I order 100 boxes, I probably end up with 110. But once we're out of boxes, what I've been doing in the past is, other than Crazy Climber, and, well, Crazy Climber, Turmoil, and, um, well, see, I didn't, actually didn't reorder any Crazy Climber. But what it was, what it's been doing is that once we ran out of printed materials, we no longer made the game. Um, Crazy Climber, we had a lot of printed materials to work with, so we kept it going. Turmoil, I reordered the printed materials to make it match up with the Mattel Aquarius version of it. Arcadian, I ordered a, like a short run of 25 just to finish up what I had in here. But after that, we didn't do any more games or any more cartridges or boxes. So what we've designed, come up with is budget packaging. What budget packaging is is that games that are no longer available in the big box are now available in a budget packaging. With these ours, they're a lot smaller and the price is a lot less because I'm not having to put put together a big box. See what we got here is we have it's shrink wrapped. It's basically it's the same sleeve, with a little change on it to make it more legible. We didn't put a ton of text on the back of them. We just made them so that they're like that. And then I'll go ahead and open this one up here. The shrunk wrap for your enjoyment or for your protection. Move the shrink wrapping. Come on. Like I said, I should probably cut it a little bit more if I want to remove it. There we go. Remove the shrink wrapping and the stick. Once you remove the shrink wrapping, you see you got a sleeve on here. And inside what you have here is you have a plastic case. It's, a, it's almost the reverse of what you would expect. So what we have is we have a cartridge protector, a loose cartridge protector. That's the case here. And we put a sleeve around the outside of it. And inside the slit inside of this, we have the game on our in-house cartridge that we use that cartridge design. And a, and a bubble wrap. 
so to keep it from popping them out. That's, that's the budget packaging. Very simple, very convenient. This is for the ones that want to purchase them. I mean, I think they're cute as heck, and I'd put them on a shelf just like this because they do look cute. But for those who wanted to purchase the game and they missed out on the big box and they, didn't, they couldn't justify spending $50 on a game, which I can understand. I mean, I'd like you to spend $50, but I can understand that you don't want to. These are less of a price. And we'll have some games that may go straight to budget packaging. Now, if you notice, there is no manual on here. The manual is available in the store. You can just download and print the manual, read it, do what you want. It's a PDF file. So, as I said, budget packaging. Three games in it right now, and they all have new serial numbers. Um, Classics Reimagined was the first one. It's VP001. Then we did um, Crazy Chicky Jr., which hasn't been available for months now because we did a straight limited run of 100 and done. BP002. And then we have Crazy Climber, which is our initial game, which we have sold over six, seven hundred. Someday I'm going to actually count them out, but it's a big chunk. I mean, we've done over 1,300 games in the past two years, and this is almost half of them is Crazy Climber. So this is a big selling game. It still is. I'm still selling a copy or two a week, especially when I go to any shows. So that's what we got. Budget packaging there, and then we had our mail call. Like I said, you got the little grippy thing. I don't know what he's calling it, but it, it works. We got the Fuji Net, which I'm going to have to figure out still, but it, at least it's out of the box. Now it's been in the box for months. And we have the speech synthesizer, which pretty soon you'll be seeing videos and demo of how it sounds. And it's going to be awesome. Little mail call. Have a great day.